the foreigners interfering in our internal affairs are not are not a threat at all. There is not no foreigner who can threaten us. No, no foreigner can threaten us. I have written a piece I will share with the Ugandans on that. The real threat to Africa's progress have been internal weaknesses, such as undermining the private sector. I mean, 1972, when he expelled the, the, the Indians, and Mzee 1970, when he announced the, the, the announcements, interfering with the private se sector. Wrong concept of army building. Sectarianism. Corruption. ETC. Uganda's economy and society are moving forward. The mistakes by some actors notwithstanding. I was reading uh, some comments, especially in the monitor. You know, monitor is, is a mouthpiece of, of foreign interests here. The monitor newspaper. Oh, talking about this, talking about this. There's one of them who was uh, writing. Today, I, 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 I glanced through, was saying that Uganda has low inflation by fortune, that is, is by fortune. Imagine. Because he doesn't want to say that NRM has managed the economy well. That's why inflation is low. Uh -uh, that it is a mixer. It was fortune that we have got to live. It's not, it's not fortune, it is planning. Money Tavana, Bambi, Masasi Day. But monitor, the other time, I, I, I saw a cow talking. When you, see, when, when you see a cow talking, then you know that God is, Jesus is about to come. I, I saw, you showed me that picture of the monitor. I want to bring a monitor a monitor. Bring it properly. Over, over the June. Now, Ugandans turn to local products to combat high cost of living. You remember my, our war with the, with, the, with the importers? This was, hold it there. This was Ugand monitor newspaper. A, a cow talking. <laughs> saying that because we put tax on the imported products, imported dead people's clothes, and, and that rubbish from outside, that now Ugandans turn to local products. This was, we, we, it, which, which date was this? Huh? Huh? Thirtieth of what? Of May. Uh, you people, you get monitor. And a tons of kogera. A cow is talking. Because that's what we said. Why don't you buy the local textiles which are being made here? So katunda jali our monitor. Katuna Aba is a mo Opogarevia Mazuma. But otherwise, they were trying to thank you very much. You can move on. Otherwise, in today's paper, I was trying to say, oh, this one, this one. But you listen carefully. I will conclude with that. Uganda's economy and society are moving forward. The mistakes by some actors are not withstanding. The foreigners interfering in our internal affairs are not, 
are not a threat at all. There is no, no foreigner who can threaten us. No, no foreigner can threaten us. I have written a piece I will share with the Ugandans on that. The real threat to Africa's progress have been internal weaknesses, such as undermining the private sector. I mean, 1972, when he expelled the, the, the Indians, and Mzee Obote, 1970, when he announced the, the national announcements, interfering with the private se sector. Wrong concept of army building. Sectarianism. Corruption. ETC. Otherwise, Africa's ability to defeat the imperialists had been demonstrated by Samara Machel defeating the entire Portuguese army in Mozambique in 1974, Robert Mugabe and Zanu defeating the Ian Smith regime in 1980 in Zimbabwe, the Cuban army comprised men of black soldiers defeating the white Boer army at Quito Guanavare in Angola in 1988, ETC. So our armies defeated European armies in the 1970s. It is our internal weaknesses that have since that time given the impression that Africa is weak. NRM has correct philosophical, private sector-led efforts, ideological, the politics of interest and not identity and sectarianism, and strategic wealth creators and integration to create markets for their, for their products positions. That is why the economy is growing in spite of the betrayal by the parasites. With the crushing of the corruption, Uganda, given our, our overall correct positions, is unstoppable. Everything else is in place. What is the problem now is just corruption. In the budget speech, I will add some more information on this slide, saying that everything else is in place now, it is only corruption and a few other mistakes that are, can sabotage what we are doing. Therefore, the Right Honourable Speaker, I thank the Parliament for the following laws you passed since the, my set of the nation address. Those laws are, are put in Annex 1. I put it as Annex 1 in, uh, in this speech. In the coming year, the executive will present the following bills to Parliament for enactment into law. I, I, I attach them as Annex 2. They, are, they will be attached to the speech. Finally, I want to salute the Speaker, the Deputy Speaker and the NRM MPs. In the past, there was a risky and shallow tendency by some actors that would try to use Parliament to undermine the Ugandan revolution which is part of the African Revolution. This, of course, was a miscalculation that was provocative, but we managed to handle it peacefully. Right Honorable Speaker and your team, I congratulate you for working harmoniously with the executive. I also, I, I'm told some of the foreigners are, are saying that Anita Mong, because he doesn't undermine uh, the, 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 the executive, she's not a good speaker because she should be Okulemesa, uh, government. Very risky miscalculation. Uh, uh, in the recent budgeting process, Honorable uh, Speaker, I congratulate you for working harmoniously with the executive. I also want to salute the judiciary. In the recent budgeting process, you came together and you were able to synthesize a rational and transparent budget for the country. I, I call these people, you, you know, these are like school children. That there is executive somewhere, then there is a parliament somewhere else, then there's judiciary somewhere else. They don't meet. 
then this one budgets, then brings the other one. Oh, I said, but why don't you first agree together? You, you are all here in Uganda. Your address is here. Why can't you meet and, and, and you look at, at the whole budget? They came and they looked at it and the budget they brought was harmonized by, by, by the three arms. They were able to see that we need this, we need that, we need that. So I want to thank the parliament and the judiciary.